Sagittarius, this is Soul. And Sagittarius, this is going to be your general um, forecast for the week of June 12th through the 18th, 2017. The messages will also be for Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope all is well. Excuse me, let's begin your messages. For some of you, you have the energy of the... Um, well, for some of you I'm about to read for, you have the energy of the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this is... Um, Getting over some sort of uh, couple messages coming in here, Sagittarius, related to this queen. This is an actual person, so this could be your energy or energy uh, associated or you know in your environment. This is usually an older person. Uh, I normally get the queen that can also represent uh, male energies. Could be a parent, female parent, male parent, and it may have been some issues with. Uh, an older adult if it's not directly a parent um, it could be like I said before it's either your energy or their energy but someone getting over some sort of emotional uh, see this queen is looking back here it's in the reverse so this is where I'm picking up the energy where it's related to someone getting over some sort of emotional um, this is attached to an event or a situation or an actual person getting over those things I just mentioned. So it's in the reverse for the energy of uh, for you guys for this week is, uh, yeah, something happened, something created. Uh, there was possibly some sort of emotional stuff going on related to family affairs since this queen represents uh being motherly and then family oriented in the reverse is something that took place that may be directly related to some sort of family issues that created or brought on some sort of emotional upsets or disappointments but this week because she's in the reverse it's overcoming that emotional disappointment or let down through an older person parent or there was issues going on with an older parent or person in your environment okay moving right along we have the major arcana the temperance card in the reverse and see that's that restoration of um restoring emotional balance see this is a card of balance so that means in the reverse it's trying to get back into the swing of things and uh, peace and harmony and possible, you know, emotional balance could be physical, mental. This is also a card of, um, you know, creative endeavors. So it could be and this is I think temperance is Sagittarius, if I'm not mistaken. Um, someone can throw in a comment, you know, because I don't really you know, go into all of that Zodiac stuff. I just, you know, have these cards more or less for props. But I do get certain feels, uh, but I do believe and I recall that this temperance card relates to Sagittarius in the reverse. So this is a restoration of some sort of balance coming back into play emotionally, physically, mentally from either a family situation or dealing directly with another person that is older or if it's just absence of having to do with family affairs or dealing with an older person this could be simply you Sagittarius and having to deal with something back here in the past one week two weeks not going back further than three and then trying to bring yourself back into some sort of equilibrium with the temperance card showing up in the reverse and it is coming if it hasn't started already some of you may have oh you have two major arcanas here now you have the hermit that's in the middle, and this is in the reverse. So the hermit, uh, when it shows up, is never uh, anything negative related to that. And I want to swing back here to this uh, temperance card. So this also relates to creativity. All right, so some of you may have had some sort of emotional, um, if there are any Sagittarian uh, artists out there, and may have had some sort of uh, disappointment when it came to some sort of creative endeavors or pursuits swinging you know the energy around some sort of normalcy will be restored to you okay so I, I did get that message i wanted to put it in there hermit in the reverse is that it may be attached to the temperance and the queen of cups is showing up having to take a step back to evaluate a situation that is important to you 
This could be um, having to evaluate, you know, something going on related to a parent or an older person. Simply just having to take a step back or cut people off temporarily so you can uh, assess something that's important to you in your life. Now, the hermit's in the reverse, so that means you're coming out of that phase. And then whatever it is that you had needed to take a step back uh, or away from, now you have a clearer, brighter perspective. So you want to forge ahead and you're coming out of, I don't like to say solitude because uh, solitude is associated with this card. So maybe you, you know, some of you had to, to you know, to uh, go into some sort of solitary moment. Uh, but normally sometimes I pick up that this hermit could often, oftentimes mean not necessarily going into, you, you know, solitude or going into a cave or whatever. It's just, you know, mentally could be emotionally having to cut people off just for a hot minute so you can get things together for yourself, okay? But coming out of that phase as well. So actually, this is turning out to be a pretty good week in terms of its energy. Now, during shuffling here, um, Sagittarius, I have this card. I think the Page of Swords was the card that I was going for in selection, but it's stuck. The Seven of Coins stuck to it so for some of you it's you know i didn't want to put it back in the deck so for some of you i'm about to read for there's news of money coming okay this is what this page of swords uh represent um i'm getting money coming someone's waiting to hear news of some money this could be related to a job also to It's related to decision making. So maybe there's a new presentation of some sort of decision related to finances, something to do with finances here. Uh, Page is in the upright. That's a court per, uh, court card. I'm sorry. And it's an uh, actual person. So it could be related directly to um, someone who is younger. And this person, this younger person, messenger, carrier of news may be either indirectly or directly having something to do with money, bringing money, a job, news. Someone's waiting for, someone's waiting for a job. The pages always represent, uh, excuse me, represent newness or something new coming in. Swords in itself represents some sort of um, decision But the decision is uh, in the upright position all about uh, mental clarity, using um, your mental mind as opposed to your emotional heart. But I do feel that this is a carrier. Now, it's not the page of wands, which is definitely news on its way. But I'm still picking up news about money or a job coming through. Seven of Pentacles is working hard for the money. OK, uh, trying to build up a nest egg and whatnot. This is Friday going into the weekend. So there may be for some of you uh, either getting some sort of um, new information about finances or about a job, or it could be uh, also uh, it could be uh, because the pentacles show up. It's, you know, earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Uh, it could be related to having some sort of exchanges with that energy, but it could be with any Zodiac sign in its energy. But I just feel that there's something uh, coming in that's new. Could be a promotion at your current job. Could be some sort of pay raise or something. So that's what I have for you. And also to swinging back here to this queen, if I didn't mention it, it's related to water signs. So it could have been energy related to Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. But I'm feeling more or less... Uh, well, I'm feeling two things, but I'm I'm really feeling that there's, there may have been some sort of issues going on with an older adult or an older person surrounding Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy in the past. You know, this I can be, you know, picking out so many messages here, Sagittarius, and spending you know quite the entire day. But you know, I got to keep it real and keep it tight. 
something going on. But, you know, as I always say, please look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information. But I feel overall, though, for some Sagittarians that I've just read for, it just seems like it's going to be uh, a pretty good week. For the most part, whatever took place back here in the past is passing you and you're getting over it. OK, emotions, um, you know, getting back into uh, balance. Getting back into balance. All right, Sagittarians, with that being said, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead, full of love and light, of course, and keep it safe. Till I talk to you again, Sagittarius. Stay well. Bye.